um, yeah, welcome back to Jack's Does Homestuck. Uh, we are doing a special Saturday episode um, because we have some exciting news. I say we, it's just me. I'm the only one that runs the, <laughs> the podcast. But And before I forget, thank you to uh, Kansas Just Got Gayer for being our uh, patron. It's very nice and wonderful. And today I have Crow. Crow, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Crow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. My name's pretty self-explanatory too. Yo, it's Crow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I brought Crow on because we have Sakon coming up, and that's very exciting. I think. Let's see, because this is coming out this Saturday, so next Saturday will be whenever it's starting. So a week from today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on the uh, the twenty second of June. Yes. And uh, do you want to explain a little bit about what SawCon's all about? Okay. Um, So SawCon. So SawCon is a convention that actually stands for Stuck at Home Con. And the first thing that sticks out about it is, well, it's an online convention. And basically, an online convention is the same. Well, not the same, but it borrows a lot of elements from physical, tangible conventions that you would go to. Uh, in your area or out of state that you would usually think of when you think of a geek convention, except it's Homestuck exclusive. It's online with some uh, benefits or pros and cons of being online. And uh, it's for free. Yeah. Free is always good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, how did you come up with the idea for Sakon? God. Uh, so I think Sakon, like a lot of other Homestuck, project ideas I come up with was impulsive but it was one of those impulsive ideas that stuck a it stuck long enough to where I knew I was actually serious about it Mm -hmm. um the person who I had like co-founded it with uh summoning 101 we had been talking for actually the first time ever to each other and I forgot whatever else was going on but it was just 7 a.m and I'm like I I think what it was okay there is an the The concept of an online convention is actually pretty, I want to say new or rare, because there is actually a convention that's an online con that we gained inspiration from, which actually p- takes place in the uh, Brony community. And they happen to go by the name HaCon, Horses at Home Con. And like, I saw their stuff and I was pretty impressed by the idea. And I'm like, what if Homestuck? So I presented the idea to my friend. We planned some stuff out. I even talked to the person who ran the HotCon convention. Just, nice. yeah, about, they were really nice about it. And they gave me like little tips and stuff that I was confused about as like starting points. And uh, well, you know, here we are. And we're, we've been, been in the middle of just setting things up, getting people interested, accepting panels, artists. And now we're in what one would probably call con crunch hours. Yeah, no, it's super exciting. The official schedule is set to come out pretty soon. I mean, it should be out by the time everyone's listening to this. But yeah. uh, But yeah. And uh, so part of the reason I I was probably going to do this episode anyway, have uh, Crow on to talk about this. Part of it is because uh, Draxos Homestuck will be having a panel. So that's really exciting. Look forward to that. You'll be able to see it on the um, official schedule whenever it's released. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about the the first two sections I kind of talked about, which is gays and girls. So that's what it's going to be called. Uh, Jack says Homestuck, uh, gays and girls. So look forward to that. And um, what are you going to be doing at the uh, con crow? Ugh, too much. Yeah. Um, God, we have a few ideas. And I think I'm probably going to be able to do all of them with no cancellations. but. I know one that sticks out that I've really been waiting to show off is uh, Growing Up 101, which is supposed to be a, well, my own personal rendition of a 2019 uh, Homestuck cosplay tutorial that specifically focuses on gray makeup, because mm-hmm. we have a lot of them, and I just feel that maybe we could have a lot more that were not from years ago, and maybe on only specific characters. Just one that is actually just a universal one on one for as well as I can potentially give information to people. And 
that's the one that I'm most excited for. We have a few other ones, like uh, some fun ones. Like I'm, I might be doing one where we just play a bunch of old Homestuck YouTube videos. Might be hosting a uh, scrib, a scribble, scribble IO session, stuff like that. But there's a lot, and frankly, I have too many ideas to actually fit into this year's schedule. So we're gonna have to see if this year does good, so I can carry some of those other ideas to next year, or if this convention is going to end up a dash con <laughs> well hopefully not uh for one thing it's free so there won't be that sadness yeah i i had so many people that were asking me crow can you make a channel called the ball pit <laughs> god <laughs> people just love to live off the cringe i mean true <laughs> yeah um so are you i mean i'm sure you're excited about it coming up do you got some good feelings about it oh i'm a little nervous but at the same time that's me for every other project i guess the difference with this one is that like unlike a zine or art collaboration which i usually partake in like leading art projects in the community sometimes I- i've been like overusing this word i want to say it's a little bit more ambitious because well Whenever someone mentions a Homestuck convention, they usually are talking about an actual convention that has Homestuck cosplayers, or they're talking about it as like a joke. So the fact that we're trying to make this happen, and the fact that we have a lot of people that we are, a a lot of content creators that we're collaborating with to actually make this a thing. Yeah, it's a big project, and I'm incredibly excited for it as much as I am terrified completely fair um i'm really excited for i mean uh the the panelists coming up the one that's been announced on your website which i believe is just uh sakon.com mm-hmm. yeah so um there's some exciting information there definitely go check it out um i did think it was funny whenever uh kate was announced uh gambling gate was announced as a um as a guest because to me it's just like well i mean kate's gonna be at sakon so that's gonna be uh who were you really <laughs> excited about getting on Oh, oh gosh. I mean, everybody who we wanted and basically showed up who's probably on the uh, guest announcements, like everyone I'm definitely, everyone who decided that they were going to take their time out of the day to contribute to this that we were interesting in, uh, interested in putting on as a guest, all my excitement goes to like each and every one of them as well as my like thankfulness that they decided that they wanted to partake within this little thing that I'm doing so you know yeah, I like to sp- I, mean- I, I like to spread my excitement in equal in equal servings yeah no that's completely fair because it there's so many exciting guests and maybe this will actually get me to read vast era this time which I keep meaning to right yeah, um, and, and then I've been looking at some of the panelists because um, I'm in the little panelist group and just that's that's very exciting. So I think there's going to be just so much great content and we're going to get I mean, I'm I'm just really uh, excited looking forward to it. And I, I'm assuming we're going to get a lot of great um, people participating and I really think it's going to be a fun time and I'm hyping it up a lot because <laughs> it's just so many people have so many great ideas and I really love everyone coming together with all the different things they want to talk about, all the different things they want to show off. And Mm. it just really seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Like here's the other thing that I forgot to mention. Like, obviously this con was made for the idea of, you know, a, what if an actual Homestuck convention existed, but at the same time, the other idea for it existing, like I'm a fan of content creation and their creators. Like I always felt as if, while this fandom does achieve in a multitude of different ways, it is sometimes hard to kind of find the different creations that people make of different mediums in like a single place and they're mostly scattered. And I just feel like this convention would also be able to help in people not only finding an audience for themselves and that audience not only having a fun time, but also being a way to just celebrate content creation as a whole, whether it be through art, through vocal or audio things, through think pieces, uh, just different ways in which people can express themselves that kind of just connects everybody to have a fun time and, you know, maybe occasionally chill out in some in some particular areas. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's definitely going to need to be some, some chill out areas because everything just seems 
so great and like you were saying yeah. like it's it's hard to find all of the content creators because we're all spread out and it, it's such a variety of different things you could do like I, this is such a big fandom for me. Like I've been involved in other fandoms, but like this is the first fandom that I realized that people could create music for the mm-hmm. thing they were a fan of. Oh yeah. So um, I just. Oh yeah, we those- we uh, I should mention just what I thought that I would potentially have to fill in the slot myself with something, but we actually do. I think have a couple of like panels that are related to music. So I'm especially like excited for that, for example, because like I said different mediums of homestuck content is something that i want to be celebrated more as like everybody being considered an artist in their own right and being able to provide some form of entertainment for not only themselves and their peers but just the community if they want to and i feel that this convention will hopefully be able to grant that idea yeah um definitely it it seems like a great lineup so far um just such a variety of, of content so far, which I think it's really kind of showing what Homestuck can be uh, as far as a fandom and fandom creations. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And um, so you said that, I, I mean, I guess we'll be kind of waiting to see how it goes this year to see if we'll be doing it next year, but you already, uh, you mentioned that you already kind of had some things that you're saving off for if there's a next year. Oh yeah. 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 Like, There are different ideas. Like, basically, depending on how this con will go, some of that I might reveal more of during the uh, closing ceremonies for whoever is still awake at that time. But (laughs) all I know is that I very much would love if this happens. And hopefully nothing extraordinarily, like, interesting happens that prevents that from happening. But I can at least predict that with some of the things that we have going for us, such as the freeness and the fact that you can literally tell somebody to log off if they're not having a good time versus them having to take an Uber out of state that like, we're not costing any arms and legs here. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a a day that you set aside and you come on and you pick and choose what you want to go in. There's no long lines. There's no uh, big bustling crowds. Cause I know, cause I'm still, I haven't been to many conventions partially because the cost partially because um it's hard for me to find one and partially because like i have a hard time with like really big bustling crowds and here it's like gonna be more chill like there's not gonna be anyone bumping up against me or anything oh yeah i i really do hope that online conventions like catch on a little bit more because like i said the uh brony one exists and then there was another one recently which a lot of uh dreams took place on uh on steam but as far as i can tell uh, that those two and then uh, Sakon are the only online conventions I've seen, and even then, uh, Sakon and the Steam uh, one happened this year, and then the Brony one's been happening for five. So it's oh. like, yeah, so it's like I'm really surprised this is not something anyone's really touched up on. But I, I guess that's one reason I could kind of be a little bit smirky that I'm trying to pioneer that idea. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's definitely great. It's one of those things that you hear it and you're like, yeah, the internet's so big. Why haven't we done this already? Why haven't this? Why hasn't this been a big thing? Yeah, just, just, we, yeah, this is like, this also goes under the category. Like, I, I just mentioned that this is a way to show off so many different content creations of different mediums. In a way, creating an entire online convention is its own unique medium, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, well, that was all uh, the questions I had for you about this. I, I just feel like a lot we're going to see whenever it comes live next week. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to say about it? Um, let's see. We got your uh, website, which was Sakon.com. I think you made your YouTube channel a lot easier where the, the channel is, is like YouTube.com slash Sakon. Uh, yeah, it was originally a bunch of gibberish, but you mm-hmm. know, YouTube has the rule where you have to have an icon, a header and 100 subscribers before you can change your URL. Yeah, well, now that you have, so it's going to be a lot easier to find. Oh, yeah. uh, is there anything else you wanted to mention or shout out? Uh, I can't think of anything else right now. Just have, th- this is going to be a good time, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, I'll definitely post links to everything in the description. So definitely check that out. And um, And yeah, we're looking forward to this. And thank you for coming on and talking about it. Thank you. Uh, I guess I can also emphasize that if people are really interested on 
different little insights, like who's going to be involved, like guest wise, or uh, who else is working with this in terms of moderators and staff. Just we, like I said, we definitely do have a, uh, a a website, so all of that stuff is within the hyperlinks and very easy to find. Just in case anyone is curious about that, because I have gotten a lot of questions that have like been sitting on the FAQ. <laughs> Oh, you broke up a little bit there. Uh, I said that um, <clears throat> on the website, in case anyone wants to look it up, there is like a bunch of things that would answer their FAQs, such as who else is helping me with this and what other guests are going to be featured. And yeah, just check out the website whenever you get the chance outside of just the Twitter. I love the Twitter, but also, man, I've never paid for a website before. I got to use that up. <laughs> Oh, no, I definitely feel that. I got my own website for this. And I'm like, gosh, I feel like I'm not doing anything with it. Yeah. I gotta... We're actually getting busy. Oh, wow. yeah. That's exciting. It's partially for me because I refresh it like twice a day. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, is there any updates? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you again for coming on. Um, you can find Crow at Yo, it's Crow at Twitter and then the website and all the links there. Um, and then I'll have all that below and... Um, as a reminder, I have my website, jackstesshomestuck.com, which has links to my Patreon, my Redbubble, my YouTube, my just everything. I try to keep everything linked on there instead of having like a billion links below. But um, I'll also have a billion links below. So, yeah, check that out. And um, I will see you guys on Wednesday. <laughs>